This is the dust boot that I made for my Shapeoko CNC machine. I recently installed the Z-Plus upgrade as well as a water-cooled spindle, and I had to modify the dust boot that I made for my original setup years ago. Compared to the standard Z-axis, the Z-Plus axis is much easier to attach a dust boot to. I'm just using four magnets to attach to the back plate. This allows the dust boot to be adjusted easily in Z, and as well as provide some compliance in case you bump into a clamp, the magnets will just slide rather than brackets bending or breaking. Since the whole dust boot assembly is attached with magnets, it's really easy to pop it off. You can set your Z height when you install new material, and the dust boot just snaps back on. No tools are required. Just plug in the LED light and attach your vacuum hose, and you're ready to go. The dust boot is made of HDPE, and adhesive doesn't really stick very well to it, so that's why I use zip ties to attach the LEDs. They're just part of a under cabinet light that I kind of hacked up. These LEDs are on an aluminum strip, and I just cut them to length. The dust boot itself is made of two pieces that clamshell together, and I tried to make the air channel in between as large as possible so that I had good suction 360 degrees around the opening. The six LEDs I'm using draw about 1.5 watts total at 12 volts. They provide plenty of brightness and a nice even illumination. The brush bristles are installed on a plastic ring with a slot cut in it, and everything's just held on with a zip tie. The brackets that hold the dust boot are slotted for adjustment in Y. Adjustment in X and Z are done with the magnets. If, you, if you'd like to build one of these dust boots, I'll put a link in the description below where you can download the files. And thanks for watching. I wanted to give a few comments on the files that I uploaded. This part has machined features on both sides, so it requires you to flip the part over. This project starts with a blank plate with holes in the four corners, and those holes will line up with the holes on your wasteboard, making it easy to flip without losing registration. The hole in the bottom left has an extra shoulder on it to help you keep track when you're flipping the part, not to get it spun around or flipped the wrong direction. This is the top cover, and it's the only part that has machined surfaces on both sides. There's a drill guide that you machine out, and that will help guide your drill bit as you manually drill holes in the side of the dust boot. This is the bottom cover, the brush holder, and the adapter that holds your shop vac hose. This is what the dust boot looks like when it's all put together. This is a picture of the dust boot mounted on my original Shapeoko before I did the spindle and Z plus upgrade. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to reply. Thanks.